Hi guys, welcome to another Stephen Bomb blog, uh, vlog, I guess, because it's a video, uh, but I'm mostly talking and uh, stuff. I did record another one for the message, but because of the scheduling conflicts and such like that, I didn't get it out in time, so I'm just kind of combining the two, and uh, hopefully I remember what I needed, what I said before, because I, I thought I touched some really good parts, but um, both episodes, really great, super stoked about these. Um uh, Political power I want to talk about because I have the least amount to say about it, and then I'll switch back to the message. Um, with political power, it's the episode where Steven uh, and the gems accidentally cause a power outage across town, and Steven winds up helping the mayor uh, kind of lie to the citizens of Beach City to basically calm them down about a, well, you know, tragedy. And um, the episode is um, basically Steven learning that sometimes people hide things from you to protect you, especially when you're a kid. As he's seen the, the, like, he's contrasting his, the, the mayor lying to the city because he cares about the city and mostly because he wants his vote, their votes and such, but he's trying to prevent bad things happening. And then Stephen puts that to the fact that the gyms have been kind of secretive to him and, you know, put on an act. And Stephen finally just kind of addresses the gyms and is like, hey, look, I get, I, I know you don't want to scare me, but I want the truth. And they just basically explain that, well, the truth is they're scared and they don't know what's going to happen. And uh, I think this is a really powerful episode. This one reminds me a lot of The Test, where Steven um, want, finds out that a lot of the stuff that's happened in previous episodes were um, not as high stakes as he thought they were because it was the gym's testing to see if he was you know, mature enough or old enough to go on missions and stuff. And, uh, and that episode ends with Steven just kind of finding, overhearing them. Uh, talk about like how they're really nervous and scared and they don't know what to do and um, you know they, they're like Steven just needs a confidence boost and then he'll be able to do stuff again and instead Steven gives them a confident boost and it's such a mature moment for Steven and it's, it's such a powerful raw moment because we've seen Steven be so immature before and just seeing him mature up here it's just really really cool. Uh, another note is that Steven's voice actor in the last like few episodes like the last like 20 set um, I feel like he's, his voice actor is going through, like, growing up a little bit. I could definitely tell there's, like, a little bit of difference from the early episodes to now. And I really love this current Steven voice. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, I really want to talk more about the message because I think the message, it, it's a Greg centered episode. And, uh, I love Greg. Greg Universe is probably one of my favorite characters in the show. Uh, just something about a, a, a goofy dad is just a lot of fun. And he definitely does, like, Goofy dads are nothing, uh, like, it, they're very common when it comes to television, especially animated shows, but this show really captures what makes, uh, you know, what is a good goofy dad, and, like, you can compare it to, like, Peter Griffin, who was a goofy, kind of dumb, but, like, always meant well for his kids up until recent seasons, where now he's just kind of a dick to his kids. Uh, Greg kind of in that, that, that good center area where it's like, he legitly cares for Steven, and he's trying to, help Steven grow, he just doesn't know how, and uh, there's something endearing about that. And in this particular episode, the message, Steven and the gems uh, get a wailing stone that is making a message, but they can't understand it, and they think it's because it's uh, it's outdated. And uh, Steven convinces them to let his dad, who's really good with audio because he's in a band, to help out with the message. And um, this is mostly a Greg episode where Greg actually gets to participate with the gyms. There's definitely been a few episodes where Greg definitely shows that he doesn't mess with the gym stuff. And there's a lot of different varying like levels of the gyms don't trust him. Uh, with this whole like Pearl and Rose might have been in a relationship type of deal. You could definitely see why Ro Pearl doesn't like uh, Greg. Uh, and then with Amethyst and Greg kind of having like a, a rebound thing going on. Uh, judging by the maximum capacity episode, it's uh, just you, you, there's definitely tension, and that's probably the best thing about Steven Universe right now is the fact that there's so much. It is a it is a character driven show, and it's just these little moments that um, wouldn't na naturally caught up into a main story. Like they're, they're they're like just moments. They're like character studies, and it's nice. You know the the episode with um, well, the, okay, so with the political power one, there was definitely a uh, arc with Steven, you know, him coming to it. But, like, for the most part, as a story, 
it's just kind of it did it didn't have like a super satisfying ending, but uh, just because it wasn't like you know they didn't they didn't fix the machine or the power just kind of came on coincidentally type of thing. There was no like super resolution besides Steven realizing you know, certain elements, and um, it's it's just it's just a small little like it feels like you're opening a window to their world, and it's just super nice. And Steven Universe is such a such a um, a subtle show. And it, it tackles so many subjects so maturely, and it does not talk down to the viewers, and it's it, that's super endearing because there's so many kids' cartoon shows where uh, if, if, if there's so many things in Steven Universe where uh, they didn't mention things like Steven's powers being developed through love wasn't a thing that one of the characters goes. Ah, oh, you know, Steven, his power, you know, like, like in any other show, it would have been like, Steven's shield, it must be because he loves something. Instead, it, it they, they put it in situations, and we saw it a couple of times, and we could together collectively come up with the idea, oh, his powers are activated whenever he feels intense love. That makes sense. His love for Connie, his love for Cookie Cats, you know? Like, it, 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 love, it, it, we're allowed to figure it out on our own, and it's never, and they might pepper it within dialogue, but it's never directly said, because that's not naturally how things go, and that's, that's just amazing. Uh, I know I'm more talking about the show than the actual episodes, but uh, the Greg episode of uh, The Message was really, really great. I remember a couple different things, like uh, I remember hooking up my very first Super Nintendo and getting the wrong chords in, because uh, at one point we had like uh, just one chord, and then like uh, when the N64, we got three, and I remember like one of them being audio and such, so it's kind of cool to see that whole um, <laughs> thing, you know, Steven Universe is a show that kind of touches upon older stuff, and it's definitely hitting two different generations, and I think we're both having different, like, vibes with it. For me, it's like, I'm an older guy, I'm 25, so I've went through the 90s, and there's a lot of retro 90s vintage stuff in the show, and it's always cool when they reference it. Uh, but overall, there's a couple of things I did want to note. Um, I, I did the previous vlog, I had like a, a list, a checklist, I went through H1. Um, there's some great dialogue in the uh, the message, uh, dad, audio, daddy-o, uh, tender touch. There's just really some good like lines in there that I really chuckled at. Uh, one of my favorite things is that like Greg says, oh, that's just a B-side <laughs> when he sings a song. And I think that's hilarious. Uh, just something about that just like clicked with me. Uh, is it just me or is Steven kind of the better musician? The first song that got sung was by Greg in the episode. And then Steven sings about it. And Steven's song is definitely a lot better. And then Greg sings from his heart. And I wonder if that's just like a subtle way for to say that like people who sing through their heart is much better. Because the quality of song got better as uh, as it went on in the episode. Um, so Lapis returns uh, kind of. She's mentioned in here. And this this brings up a kind of an interesting point between both, uh, both episodes here. Uh, most of these episodes have like reoccurring things. Like for example, uh, Rose's Scalbert and uh, and then the message had both episodes that kind of parallel each other with like Greg and Pearl, uh, being that they both we got to see some real raw emotions, insecurities with them. Uh, Rose's Scalbert was definitely the better episode for that. We got to see a, a different side of uh, a Pearl. Um, and something I want to mention for that episode that I didn't mention in my uh, my first uh, my vlog, and that and that episode we we did see Bro, uh, Pearl not jump to save Steven for once, and that's a big character change for someone that's always been super protective, and I think that, that just shows how raw her emotions were that she almost let Steven fall. I thought that's very interesting. But in this episode, we, uh, in the message, we saw that, you know, Greg's insecurities about the fact that the, the gems don't respect him and they don't let him be part of, you know, saving the world. They don't trust him to do things. And I can really understand that one. Um, just that insecurity. That's so I, I found that very interesting that those two have a parallel. But then, like, that episode and this one, the political power one, uh, they had parallels with um, just... I had a reason, and I totally lost it, and I don't want to, like, have too much dead air. But there, there was a parallel that popped in there to me. Um, so, something I want to mention, uh, Lapis appeared in the, the message, and I, for a second there, got really scared that this was going to be a clip show. Because they started showing clips, and so far, Steven Universe has been very much, like, not going back to clips. They usually just talk about it, and you just see the scene there. So I was like, oh no, this is a clip show. Oh god. Uh, and it turned out it wasn't, which is great. Um, I love Lapis, and I like uh, per Perot. I'm going to say it wrong every time. If, if you, you should be familiar with this by now. Um, but uh, something interesting about their designs is um, 
uh, the fact that like the the crystal gems, the earth ones, have stars somewhere in their bodies, and then the regular gems have like diamond facets, which I thought was really cool. I, I recently did a um, Tumblr thing where we're doing gem sonas, and apparently there's like a weekend challenge drawing stuff. I don't know if I'll be able to participate in it because I just realized there's like two cons I'm going to this weekend. Uh, Lexington Comic Con, uh, Lexington Comic Con, and Indianapolis Comic Con. I'm going to go both. Um, and Indianapolis is going to be Saturday, and then Lexington is going to be Sunday. And um, uh, anyways, I drew a, a, a gem Sona of myself, uh, which is Topaz, and I made it a girl. But even though the gems don't have genders, I, I felt like since most of the gems so far have been females aside of Steven, it didn't feel right to uh, make it a male-looking character. Um, but they, they have the, uh, so I added, uh, facets onto the dress of my character, which I thought was kind of, you know, oh, that's a tribute. I didn't want to say that my character is the, uh, a crystal gem, because clearly that there's only three and Rose. So, um, so something that Lapis mentioned in the message was, um, that the, the home world has gotten more advanced and is not the same. And I, I question whether or not Lapis might eventually become a main, like not a main character, but like a six ranger to the crystal gems. Cause I, I feel like she's not happy in gym world. So I'm kind of curious if she'll ever like come back to earth. Probably not, but we'll see. Uh, it seems like tomorrow's the season finale. So we're going to get some real shit's going to go down. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so. Lapis mentioned that, and that's something I find very interesting is that, so Lapis and the Crystal Gems are older set gems. This, this is something that was mentioned in Political Power, is that uh, they are, the one big thing that they're worried about, the Crystal Gems, is that um, Peridot and her team is going to be more advanced, more, uh, you know, more indated. No, they're not outdated like our gems. So uh, that's very interesting. So I wonder if, like, there's there's been a thing where, uh, gems got more cold and less personable and more logical because you know they're, they're definitely more mechanical if you look at Peridot's like whole design she she's very much more of a robot type thing her fingers can separate and different things like that which is something that you know our our gems are more organic and i find that very interesting um but man i'm, I'm really enjoying steven bomb week so far we got three episodes three really good ones all for the different reasons i was definitely worried about political power because, uh, honestly, like, uh, when I read the synopsis, it's like, oh, Stephen and the, the mayor going on a venture together. It's just like, oh, that doesn't sound like it's connected to anything. Um, dang. You know, a little disappointing with when you have all these high tie adventures with the whole outward gym world thing. It, it, it's really weird to take, like, a moment back. But this one was obviously connected with the fact that it had the, the marble. Um, but yeah, so, uh, by the way, I'm really happy that you guys enjoy talking about these vlogs. Uh, it's just insane to see that, like, um, you know, I, th I think the other video got, like, four or 5,000 views, which is insane to think, because I'm just kind of talking to a mic. Um, but a lot of you guys seem to, you know, you're looking for a place to talk about, you know, Steven Universe and Gravity Falls, and why not make that my channel, you know what I mean? So, definitely leave stuff in the comments. Uh, I'm a little busy last, in the next couple of days, but I definitely will try to respond to you guys and actually have conversations with you. So, let me ask you a couple of questions real quick. Um, so, uh, apparently, uh, there's there might be a spoiler for tomorrow. There might be a, a gem called Sapphire and Ruby, and there's a fan theory uh, that they might be um, Garnet separated because Garnet has two um, gems. So what do you think about that? Do you think Garnet is actually a gem fusion that just stuck together? Keep in mind that Pearl did mention that if gems don't unfuse, their their personality, their dual personality, slowly becomes one. So do you think gem or gem? Do you think Garnet might be two gems in one? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow, hopefully with a, a review of. Uh, jailbreak and the other episode that I don't remember the title of. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh 